Look at that. My fancy new coat. Okay, not quite a coat. It's uh, <laughs> my sample pattern, but looks like one. I'm making my very own top coat and I'm making the entire thing. So that includes drafting the pattern from scratch. And so step one is figuring out the body panels, the foundation. My theory is that a coat, it's just a glorified shirt. <laughs> See if that sticks, but uh, with that theory, it means I'm also taking my basic shirt pattern and I'm morphing it into my jacket pattern. First, I'm noticing the sleeve is this sort of teardrop shape here like this, and it really dips down and forward, sort of blobs into this corner here. I've traced off the front piece from my shirt pattern. And so by the sleeve here, I'm gonna go in, oh, about an inch. Just roughly hew that in. I need to create that panel that goes along the side. So I'm going to cut in about, oh, two-ish, right about there. And this is going to become the side panel. Tuck this back piece underneath. And a bit more tracing one more time. This first round is just an experiment. And then uh, add a bit of taper and seam allowance to each one of these. And you're ready for a try. And boom, that is the first draft. So <laughs> seems like I went a little too far in with that blob teardrop shape. I also need to slope the left shoulder a little bit more. My two sides are rather uneven. Why? Great question, glad you asked. <laughs> Visit my website, the link is in the description and uh, I've written a nice little short and sweet story that explains it all. And then finally, uh, I need to just nip things in a touch underneath the sleeves. I drafted some new pattern pieces and made it the full length. And besides the various changes I mentioned, I also did taper in quite a bit along the way. So it's quite noticeable on the back piece. And then tapered in at the top by the back of the neck as well to hopefully get rid of that puckering issue I was having. Full disclosure, this is my second attempt at this coat. Uh, it's the video before this one where I documented the <laughs> puckering blunder on the back of the collar there. And turning it into another garment, I'm overall liking the way everything is sitting. And then I put on one sleeve and I realize I made my armholes too big, which makes the sleeves too big and there's extra fabric and it's all a little bit loose. So, on to that problem. All right, and that is the armhole sizes I'm looking for. I'm using the sleeve pattern that I created in the last video. I think it's still usable. I just need to tweak it a little bit. And so by removing some of the fabric here, that should take out some of that bulkiness that I was experiencing. I'm going one sleeve at a time. They are after all gonna be different sizes, so let me get the left one right first, move on to the right one, you know. 
quite the fiddling here to get around all these curves in the sleeve. For that right sleeve, I simply copied the left one and then just slimmed it down ever so slightly. A little bit of a point happening here that I need to take out. It's not as bad on the right because I already pulled some out, but on the left side, uh, yeah, I gotta take quite a bit. So I went back to the sleeve and just tapered out the back half of the cap of the sleeve. And now, yes, that actually reduces the size of the full length, but my sleeve was a little bit big and I really had to pull anyways to make it all fit. So it's actually a bit more of a natural, easy fit to sew in. So win-win. And that's the bump gone. I've always thought that pattern drafting was purely a technical exercise about understanding the right proportions and the exact math of everything. Uh, but doing this coat has really solidified for me that yes, there's basics I need to know, but after that, it's a lot more like sculpting in that I roughly hew in what I want and then from there I mold and adjust and tweak and morph until it reaches the final form that I'm happy with. So, bit of math, bit of art, boom, pattern drafting. I need to patch in a little fabric at the back there. I also need to sharpen the angle on the front of the coat. So that's the updated shape of my collar there. I've also got the inside lining bit, which I recently discovered is called um, facing. Draw myself a new collar pattern. That's the collar. That's the stand. All right. And then I trim in basically to the edge. On the collar, these slits get open just a little bit. Boom, just like that. And for the stand, I just pull the slits in a little bit. And, uh, and that's the stand. And then the total amount I took out of the stands, I've trimmed off of the collar. A little seam allowance at the top here. All right. Let's put this thing together. Voila, my collar. Got my coat, got the collar, and then the inside facing. I'm just gonna go like that. It's a collar, but uh, things to tweak here as well. Specifically, it's pretty wide open here. I need to adjust it to sit more like that in. Um, but at least I'm not getting that puckering in the back. I'm gonna make this a much more diagonal line bring in some of that kneaded fabric, curve it up like that. But I'm also gonna add in a bit of extra for the lapel in the front here too. So up to there. All right, so this is definitely better, but it seems angling that line has made this line go straight up and down and I want it more this way. What I need to do is bring that line up and straighten it out. It's also not sitting nice and flat. I almost have to sort of pull it in like my shirt collar for it to sit flat. So I'm gonna push this end bit of the collar further in, which is also short in this anyways, because this is too long as it is. <sighs> I am a genius.
Look at how nice and flat this side is sitting that I adjusted compared to the old one, eh? I'm gonna call it here. Still various little tweaks I wanna make, but the basic pattern is in a place where I'm happy with it. So editing corn, show the people and, well, myself, the final handiwork. I wanna admire what I've done here. It's nice to see <laughs> a bit of a gremlin in the back there. One of the benefits of making these videos, I see things I don't necessarily see in the process. And so uh, just now I'll be sorting that out after we're done here. I did a thorough weekly breakdown of this project as I was working on it over on Patreon. Uh, and if you sign up as a bonus, we've got a nice little Discord community going where we're chatting and helping each other with each other's sewing projects. <laughs>